This is a glass, empty glass. I've been just checking here. But, uh, It's on the outside of the glass. I was wondering, is it inside or outside? It's been there, I don't know how long, a couple of days. And as soon as I went there with my tweezers, it went like a magnet onto it. So I don't know if that is static. But the movements of the ball glass, that is not static, you know. So we have to figure out things. This is glass. And when you rub glass with a cloth, it will also get, like, the cloth will get static, you know, so here's my uh, tweezers somewhere. Okay, let's try on this side one more time. Okay. Just let it pass here. See, it's already attached to it. I don't know if that is static or maybe they have these fine hooks on them because the metal of the tweezer, the way we see it, it looks smooth. But when you enlarge it, then you see how how well or badly it's been manufactured. Like you've seen it on my other tweezers, right? They look so perfect, but under what enlargement, they look like garbage, you know? So even if these, well, like I said, these tweezers look perfect, but as you enlarge them, as I enlarge them, uh, you will see that the metal isn't that smooth at all. So it's pretty rough, as you can see, maybe. It's pretty rough, so it's very easily for them because on their skin they have these hooks. This may not be necessarily um, static. Same thing with you when you look at a squirrel, these things or birds, they're so light, you know, they can very easily fly onto a um, house wall. It doesn't have to be a small house, it may even be an 18 story house or even higher and they just hold themselves outside of the, the wall, you know, because the wall is quite rough and they have very fine fingernails, you know, and feet and so on. So there's a lot of things we still have to understand before we judge. Oh, that is static. Oh, these things are made of pipes. These are just pipes, eight empty pipes. And there is air blowing into them and that makes them move, right? And where do you have your air blowing into you? Hmm? Mr. Scientist, Mr. Dermatologist, Mr. Doctor, who doesn't appreciate his job. Huh? If you pay him enough money, then, he will, then they'll help you. Maybe. That it has to be a lot of money. Okay. It's now 8.40 a.m. This is me watching. Yeah, I can feel this tickling sensation going over it. Because it's still... Ah, see? On my left tweezer, or your right tweezer from your view. There it is. Something there, see? It's right there. Without it, you won't see it very good. There's another one here. Ouch. See, it's now in my tweezer. See, you now this one is beautiful, isn't it? A different angle of the thumb holding it. Going down. With the shade, you can see how deep I am already. Because the touchdown, I feel it when, I'm, when it's too late or I'm hurting. So I've had it. Just one more time. Put him out if doesn't want to because he's stuck pretty nicely down there with his tail. Okay, there we go. I always had him. See? There he is. Oh, there he is. Look at this. What is that? A plug? Hmm? Could be a plug. Like a lead plug, what I think will resemble the two. Although I didn't pull anything out, you know, like, <clears throat> but still, it's it's unusual to have something like that. Reminds me of um, honey, no, 
and and um, honey ants, something like that. There are ants or termites who have in their big body honey. You know, it's a, it's sugar. So when those workers need some sugar, you know, they go and have some sugar. Hello, honey. You are my sugar. Okay. Back to work. <laughs> To all the scientists, huh? doctors, please wake up, help us all. We need your help. Well, actually, maybe we don't, but we need your profession because you are doctors. You can make diagnosis, and you may send us to a parasitologist. You know the ones who do uh, parasites examinations or you may even do those at once you know like dermatologists they have actually nothing to do with it I've read in a in a, some kind of a, a home page from someone his name is Mark and um, it's on uh, Morgalians dash or you know like a minus Morgalian uh, www dot Morgalians dash research dot org and uh, yes, uh, there's skin doctors and dermatologists, he writes, they have nothing to do with parasites. Although that doesn't make really sense because you go to a dermatologist who looks at your skin and says, okay, there's something wrong with it. And then he sends you to someone that has the knowledge about parasites. You have to dog onto something. When you go to the doctor, house doctor, he may send you to there and there and there. Yes, of course. But why wait so long? Go directly to a dermatologist. They should know that. They've been studying dermatology, um, skin lesions, cancer. Um, they should know what uh, parasites look like, right? At least a little bit to have a start. Like, if you tell someone an alien has never been visiting our planet, you tell him that what you see there on the road, that is a car, and that is a truck. And should you see one again, like a truck, then let me know. So for a while, he goes through the woods and sees nothing. And then he comes to a road, he says, thinks like, okay, this strange thing named road, I've seen it before, but hmm, still have to wait. Until a car comes by, hey, that is a car, yes? Just like, that is Ebola, those are Morgalians, strings, whatever. This is really that difficult. So I'm going to go in really narrow, so I don't grab too much skin. Now I'm pushing it down, and it hurts, peaks. It's like somebody's giving you an injection, okay now. Trying to pull him out. Oh well. No, uh it almost worked. Another try. Holding it really tight so it's shaking, that's why. Now pulling it on the side. Now it's hurting. It's a little bit. We did it, look at this, we be we be. And the other one is the white one, and the yellow one is just the one we got out now. So the the little thin one was the one that was still on it on the tweezer, and the other guys here were the ones I just pulled out. Look at this. Wow! Look at how brutal that thing looks. I simulated, you know, many times. Looks like a leg from an from an insect, maybe an ant or something like that. The one on the other side there. Oh yes, he gets broken off. The um, yes. Because I'm shading there also sometimes some crust, you know. So that may have been broken off due to that shading the crust off or I ripped it out.
Dragon Tail.